Good afternoon, Antioch. I hope uh, and pray that everyone is well and enjoying the new year and staying dry as much as possible in this unusual weather that we've been experiencing. It looks like we'll be getting a break from heavy rains for the next couple of days with potential storms hitting our region starting Sunday or Monday. During this short dry period, our Public Works Department is working tirelessly to ensure the city's drainage system is clear so that we again are prepared for the next round of storms. As a result, we'll be canceling our annual Martin Luther King Day of Service, uh, an event scheduled for Monday. Annually, hundreds of residents sign up and volunteer for this event, uh, but it requires the support of our Public Works Department. And given the critical nature of these back-to-back -back storms, uh, Public Works must be at the ready to ensure that our critical infrastructure is working properly in order to keep you and your family safe uh, during these dangerous, dangerous situations with these unprecedented storms. While we've properly managed the response to these, un, uh, to these storms, they have not been without damage to critical infrastructure like Delta Fair Boulevard or the Fulton Shipyard. At this point, because conservatively speaking, we estimate about $4 million of damages uh, to city resources. I know that that figure will continue to grow as more storms hit our area. Therefore, uh, I'm here to announce that the city of Antioch is declaring a local state of emergency. We're doing this to ensure we can rebuild damaged city infrastructure and have the necessary resources at the ready in the event these storm levels increase, like we, like we saw a few days ago with the level five storm. With your cooperation, Antioch has been able to manage these storms with precision. I wanna send a strong shout out to our public works and police department for working tirelessly to respond to storm related matters in a proactive and collaborative fashion. This is at the end of the day, what saves lives. While a little dry now, conditions are still ripe for down trees and power lines, as well as landslides. Please be mindful of these dangerous conditions and stay safe out there. I'll continue to update city residents as best I can. Thank you for your cooperation.